Marilyn, you finally closed the Sikorsky helicopter deal. It was a big, bold move for Lockheed Martin. Why did you do it? Why was it so important? It was opportunistic for us. Frankly, we didn't expect it to come on the market, but it fits beautifully into our company. It's a natural fit to our core business. As a helicopter company with the really world-class capabilities that they have and a $30 billion annual market, it was a great opportunity for us to complement our high technology and our aircraft with helicopters. So Lockheed has been the world's largest defense contractor for years, and with this deal, it makes you the biggest by far. So how much power and influence in negotiating with your biggest customer do you have now um, dealing with the U.S. government? It doesn't really change our negotiating power per se. I mean, we're on several different platforms, and, and what it brings for us is an opportunity to bring them products and capabilities and bring the scale of our company to invest in research and development, to bring them the most high technology, the best talent. So that's what, it, what we gained through this opportunity. What was your reaction to this latest budget deal out of Washington? Obviously, more money earmarked for defense spending. What does it mean for Lockheed? First off, for our customers, more stability and more security for them to, to have a budget and, and a capability to, to invest in what they need to, to, to care about our national security. For us as a company, likewise, it allows us to plan, it gives us more stability as well. I think it's good for the nation. It's, it's good not only on the defense side, but on the non-defense side for companies to be able to now invest and focus on providing the products and, and capabilities that our nation needs. But you're still vulnerable to budget cuts and Washington's unpredictable appetite for defense spending. You're going to be up dealing with all this again maybe in the next two years. How do you plan your business with that kind of uncertainty? Well, you know, in our case, we do have long cycle businesses. We Something that we invest in today, maybe it's an aircraft program, we may not deliver for three years from now as you go through the production and development of that aircraft. And so we have to be a long cycle business, but our customers are buying systems that they're going to use for 40 or 50 years. And it's important that we do the, the right investment and then we perform and we provide them with those capabilities. I think a lot of people don't realize that Lockheed does a lot of non-military work, uh, projects dealing with oceans and space and even healthcare. How critical are these projects in the whole Lockheed universe, given that your biggest uh, customer is the Pentagon? Well, they're very important to us. I mean, the, the Pentagon is only about 60% of our business, and the, the balance of it is what we do for the U.S. government as well as governments around the world. NASA is a very important customer for us. We have been on every mission to Mars, and we are working on one that's going to be another, another lander that's going in March of next year, which will be looking at the surface of Mars. In addition to that, we're working on Orion, which is the next manned human space exploration vehicle. And we, we look forward to sending astronauts to Mars and beyond. We work on weather satellites for the Department of Commerce. We work on uh, GPS. I know with your smartphone and my smartphone, we rely on GPS significantly, but so do our military to help make them safer. First responders get there faster. It's an opportunity to make life easier for people as they navigate using GPS.